I set up a survival that has a community in it. Could do a server tour. Okay, is it the no space one? There's three players on already. We could start with that, something different. So we have no space, vanilla space survival with a focus on O2, no ice on asteroids, explosive decompression, helmets forced off. Oh God, spectrometer provided for scanning and grapple provided for grappling. And you removed O2 buttons. This literally just sounds like torture, but all right. Community members made these respawn ships. Large grid by Wolfie, small grid by John Wack and Carmo. So I've spawned in to what looks like a very typical starter ship here. So this is like a very regular, so far, you know, standard procedure stuff. But hold on a second. What is this? Hold on a minute. How is this out? Oh, no, I'm dying. Okay, that's interesting. What's this here? Airtight connector large. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, damn, that's nice. Uh, airtight connector door. Wait a second, wait a second. So you're telling me this is a functional connector, right? For transferring items, but you can walk through it? Is that is is that what I've understood? Is that what I uh, understand? What's interesting is I can open it, and unless I go past that point, I can breathe. So I'm confused. How do I get to there without dying? Just be fast. Oh yeah, there you go. It's a good thing it doesn't kick me out. So I can enter this mining ship here. We can do various functions. We can run back to the mothership, taking a little hit. Yeah, just take one tick of damage and then you can always just fix yourself up, right? So it's okay. Okay. It's pretty cool though, having the little windows and looking out and seeing the uh, the ship dock like this. But let me try and undock this here. Oh, now look at this. It's a... Ri oh, it's actually like... It's not even a mining ship. It's like a multi-purpose vessel. It's very nice. Nice. Does air not leak out then? I don't see the door on the thing here. Just like, is it just a visual thing? Does air not leak out of this? So basically you are 100% depending on building from cockpit. Now, let me tell you guys, I don't think I've ever built anything using build from cockpit. Like I don't even know how to do it, to be honest. You guys are gonna have to help me. <laughs> okay, the goal here is to test how hardcore I can make it Make survival without people quitting. Well, that's going to be something. It's slow progress massively and push to air tightness to the limit. There we go. A nice little bit of silver ore. There is different opinions about this kind of situation climb because some would see it as a challenge. Now, there's always been this kind of debate about people wanting survival to be challenging without like artificial, artificially limiting, if that makes sense. Don't get me wrong, guys. I do appreciate the community always doing cool stuff and vibing in my absence. All right, so now we've locked. We can run back. I think I've got a closer seal this time. Oh no, I'm still dying. <laughs> so we can have a little look to see what people have been up to here in the meantime. Let's check out what John Warhammer has been up to. Okay. Oh, wow. So they have their starter ship here. I just suddenly hit me with new games. How's Space Marine 2? Anyone been playing that? I saw the reviews for it were like... At least the critics, it was like mixed. It wasn't like incredible. But I'm just wondering if, if there's been a different response from like the community, you know? I, I want to say that I trust... I trust critics less and less. I don't... I, I don't know if anything of movie critics, game critics, like, do critics even matter anymore? Or is it really just down to, let's be honest, reviews? It's awesome. Gameplay top. Story, not great. Okay. We're watching Wasted Player. Multiplayer, unfinished. Mm, okay. Very good. All my friends, okay. John. John. You're literally like 50 hours late. Oh, this is Space Engineers X. The Return of Space Engineers X. SEX, unbelievable. So Sky King and John are here. John Warhammer, not John Wack. I guess John Warhammer's John's cousin. Oh, John. That's you, John. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's John Wack. <laughs> Since when did you rename on Steam? Hold on, is it a ship or a state? Yeah, it is a ship. But I think it's 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 another ship that's been converted into a bigger ship. Which in a way seems like the easiest way to, to start off. Let's come aboard and see what's going on here. They're just like... They, they made it into a more open space. And you can kind of see what they've done here. Normally there's a walkway. 
but they've basically this is the they basically extended it out sideways so yeah guys if you're watching this and you're looking for a new challenge join it join the discord server get stuck get involved and take this for a ride climb recommends you have at least 1000 hours in space engineers to play though so <laughs> you should put that as a disclaimer on the intro screen i should probably not play like Guys, I have nearly 7,000 hours in Space Engineers. How many hours do you think are actual gameplay hours? You tell me. I don't even know. Five? Nah, I helped out in survival. I got at least 200. <laughs> I got a better question for you. How much of that 7,000 hours was 10 minute showcases? It's a lot of 10 minutes in there. Right, let's check out another player. Wolfiekins is him. So once again, it does seem to make sense to extend the starting ship. And I think in this case, combine two together. But look at this. Look at this. This seems pretty smart. This is decent sized vessel. They've got solar panels. And it's kind of cool how they have like a hollowed out center. So like the... The utility ship like docks in the inside of this. Just flies down, locks up. It's actually a pretty nifty design. I feel like you don't see that kind of so often, to be honest. Like a ring. Right, flying here, got the little bridge, got some even sofas for visitors, you know, other other faction members. I feel like the way to play this other than that, it's actually relatively basic. You can kind of see how it's too stuck together. Join at the cockpit. Then here you can access the um, utility ship. I, I see they, they grinded down all those other pieces here to you know use components of other stuff. Wait, hold on a minute. Is it vanilla actually? Other than those like settings changes, if you see what I mean? Other than the airtight connectors and like the, the, the mods that change the settings, are there any other mods? Grapple guns, okay, grapple guns, airtight connectors, and then the, the different settings. So no, I, so I think Wolfie, if you've been playing your own, this is good progress. This is very, very nice indeed. Right, let's have a look at Mad Dog. Oh, he said that as I, as I spawn in here. <laughs> oh, I don't see you, Mad Dog, you've ran. Oh no, here you are. Oh, there you go, Mad Dog, right on. So once again, oh, look at this. Well, 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 if you look at this, I like what I'm seeing, because what I'm seeing, you've got a ship, start a ship, you've got drills, large grid drills. You've constructed a new craft dedicated to welding. What else we got? Huge solar array at the back. Oxygen farm, very smart, very smart. And it looks like you're putting your resources into building an airtight hangar. Now imagine that, that way, you know, you can come in, you can dock up, you can close it, and then you can get and you can enter and exit the ship in a pressurized space before opening up and leaving. So that that concludes our little showcase of the Climb's Mad Hatter experiment. So I think, Klein, we can move over to a showcase now. Have you guys watched the new YouTube video? Have you also liked, commented, and subscribed, okay? Hit that bell notification, okay?